I've been very fortunate to get an amazing mentor, my spiritual mentor, you know, uh, he is just insanely good. And from him I've learned what true mentorship or effective mentorship is. And today I mentor, you know, hundreds and hundreds of young men and women and, and that's the principle that I follow is this. I don't let people latch on to me and become handicapped. That means it's very easy when you're down and you're weak to latch on to somebody and be like, you're my hope and shelter and I have no one but you. Please save me, right? I don't do that because then you'll be always dependent on me and that's not a good mentor. A good mentor is somebody who empowers you to stand on your own feet and be self-reliant. That means you won't need me beyond a certain point. And the way that happens is through loving detachment. Loving detachment means I love you, but I don't want to help you so much that you become dependent on me. I will help you so you can think on your own feet. When you ask me a question, I will not tell you what to do. I will ask you back certain questions with which I will help you find the answers to your problems, which you already know. You just need somebody to help you pull that out of your subconscious mind. And that way, I'm not responsible for your success or failure. You are, but I'm just the guy, I'm the catalyst who's helping you get over your bad situation. So that's a, a very exemplary aspect of a good mentor. The other side of the story is when you're told what to do, like do this uh, just because it's a ritual or just because your grandmother did it or Sharma Ji Ka Beta is doing it, so you should also do it. And that's wrong. That can never be fulfilling. Like you can do what your boss is telling you or your parents is telling you, uh, but that's not who you are. So to find your own answers and how to help you find your own answers, that's the job of a mentor. Now, there are certain things that a mentor can give you from experience that you might not know. But again, in that case also, I'm giving you the situation. If you make this choice, this is the outcome. If you make that choice, that is the outcome. You make your choices. There's nothing good or bad. You make your choices. So I'm giving you what could happen, but you're still making the choices. So always giving the choice in the hands of the mentee is the duty of the mentor.